Hey there everyone, uh, you see, garage's not looking any better, we're still uh, waiting on the Renaults and things to get finished. But I got a call from a guy, uh, let's see, WLD, WGN, I'm expecting that's Wild Wagon, and he's bought some of these gauges. He's bought some of these. Oh. No, guys, it's not you on fire, that's me. Uh, he's bought some of these, some of those gauges. And I don't know whether uh, Wild Wagon, I don't know whether you got them new or second hand, but he, he said you had no instructions on what how to hook them up. Uh, <coughs> You know, I'm expecting you got probably three like I did, volts, uh, oil and uh, and water temperature. They're pretty simple actually. There's only um, there's only one wire really that's um, in the uh, in the uh, harness that you probably wouldn't get in any of the others because they don't change colour, and that'd be the uh, the orange wire. Now I'm hoping you've got, if you've got the second hand or somebody's, whatever, whatever, however you got them, I'm hoping that you've got the wiring harness for the back of the gauge because that could end up being a bit of a bit of a problem. But um, I'm, I'm assuming that you've got all the stuff that goes with the gauges, and it was just missing the instructions on how to um, how to hook it up. But essentially, and I'll just I'll just show you the show you the um, instructions, and you can just pause it for a moment. You write it down, use that as your reference. So this one's for the oil pressure gauge, and um, let's see if I can get a get it so you can read that. Where are we? Let's hold that there for a moment. You can pause that when you've, um, when you've got hold of it. And here is the one for the temperature gauge. If you have a look at that, it's very, very similar. Okay. Essentially, on both the gauges, you've got a red that goes to your ignition switch, you've got a green. And this one on this it goes to the water temperature sensor on the red side, on the on the on the active side. You got a the white wire goes to your um, dash lights, and you can cut them in anywhere you like. You can go to your cigarette lighter a light or uh, um, any of the other lightings. Just patch into that. The black, as in most vehicles, is a vehicle ground. And the orange is a memory wire for your uh, whatever colour it is that you decide to set on your gauge. Um, as you see there, this one says oil pressure sender here is the green. Where's the other one said? So these are electrical gauges. Um, I'm expecting you have the correct sender. If you don't have the correct sender, Right, get that where you're not getting a not getting a reflection there we go okay that's the correct sender for that set of gauges and they just you just um, get some uh, eyelets for your uh, for your wires yeah that sort of thing they hook them up once the power it tells you there um, One's the power, uh, which is the S, and the other one uh, is uh, is an earth. You just earth that out to a vehicle ground. Um, this particular kit comes with a step up, so depending on what sort of vehicle, I think you said you got a five liter, and I'm going to guess it's a Holden. Uh, yeah. Even if it was a Ford, I don't think the Fords use that thread as well. Um, so you'll just patch it into where your um, existing oil switch is 
Um, a couple of methods, you know, T piece or whatever, just make sure you get the correct thread there. Um, our our um, switches are tapered threads. The European ones, of course, are usually a straight thread and use a, a, a washer. And then, of course, the um, the Japanese, or uh, you know, they all use a small thread like that. And that's the sender for the that's the sender for the um, for the temp sender for the temp gauge. Um, I haven't hooked these in yet because I have had to do a bit of thinking, but um, as I say, you can two-piece, you can two-piece that oil gauge in. That's not a big deal, you don't have to be a genius to do that. Um, and the amp gauge, the amp gauge is... Um, Is, is, is similar to that except it does not have it doesn't have the I'll see where this one says um, the water of course the other one says oil it doesn't have that all it has is the ignition switch wire the dash light wire the ground wire and the memory wire for the lights so, because once you disconnect the battery or you, you lose the memory um, lose the memory on those um, uh, gauges once you disconnect the battery if the battery goes flat or you disconnect it or whatever um, you'll have to go and change your um, your light color over because it will revert back to the the original um, one that comes out which is I suppose you'd call it default um, and that of course is a white light and the other thing is asking is how do you change the colour on the um, on the gauges? Well, I suppose I can get in there. But if you if if you get your gauge and you, you turn it upside down, you have a look. You'll see there's a slot where the wiring harness goes in the bottom of it, and then just above that, and I think it's to the as you're looking at it to the left, sort of at about ten o'clock, I suppose, in reference if you're looking at it clockwise, clock as a as a clock face about 10 o'clock, there's a little button, so once you've actually got the lights turned on uh, and activated with your memory wire on um, which goes to constant power, that memory wire, don't forget um, you just push that button and it will it will um, scroll through the different colours so you can choose whatever colour you want uh, it's pretty hard for me to show you because they're in my car and all, all bolted in sort of thing but there's some one thing you must remember is if wherever you put them um, make sure that you leave yourself some accessibility around the back of the gauge unless you can slide them in or out or whatever um, to reset your colour for your gauge hang on, I'll, I'll give you a hang on you should feel privileged to do it. I would normally pull my car apart for everyone. Oh. I must have a flat battery, I'd say. Haven't used it for a bit. Well, that's the uh, that's the water temperature gauge. There's the harness I was telling you about. Um, and the little button. There it is right there. Rolls through the through the um, the different options for your lights. So um, yeah, so wherever you decide that you're gonna you're gonna mount your gauge, I'll put that back in again shortly, you know, properly. Um, wherever you're gonna mount it, you want to make sure that you've got room. Should you disconnect the battery or get a flat battery like I've just gotten, <coughs> to um, reset your colours. Uh, failing that, it will just go straight to its normal um, default colour, I suppose you'd call it. Um, if you haven't got a harnesses, I suppose you probably could wire into the wire into the back of those with um, if you're really careful with solder. But the pins are really, really close together, and I'd try and get the 
try and get the correct harness. Um, and with these, all my <coughs> all my um, earths and powers are all hooked up with my radio, so that there's only one wire that comes. I can pull this out with any 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 uh, undoing. Um, one earth up here, which is with the, with the actual mounting that holds the thing in, a power wire, a light wire, and that's it. Now a lot comes out, a couple of plugs. So, um, and I used also for the for the for the memory, I just used the memory wire for the radio, and you know that you know, radios have got a memory wire as well. So, uh, yeah, hope that helped you out, uh, Wild Wagon. Good luck with your project, whatever it is you're doing. And uh, have a good one. We'll see you next time. One last thing. Um, for me with the temperature sender, I'm in the process of making up a little tube, a little piece of tube, a couple of inches long. And I'll cut the radiator hose, cut a piece out of the radiator hose and I'll put the tube in. In that tube will be an earth wire, which I will earth. And there will also be a nut, the same uh, same, so, same thread as what's in that, that uh, little temperature sender. I screw the sender into, the little, into my piece of uh, adapter, I suppose you'd almost call it, which will go in the, in the, in the hose, in the top of the ho top hose. And um, hooked up to the hooked up to the gauge, and that's just another little job I got on the way. And uh, the oil sender, well, uh, I guess you all saw what the story was with that. There's not much room for the um, not much room for the uh, sender to go, and I've got to use the original. Um, you've got to use the original uh, oil switch because it does. If you disconnect it, it'll cut the fuel pump out. Um, just a precautionary thing that the uh, those Commodores had, and uh, yeah, so I hope that was uh, hope that was uh, helpful to you, Mr. Wild Wagon of Australia. I think he's up in the Gold Coast somewhere. I think, not exactly sure, but thanks for the sub too, by the way. Um, and all you other guys, have yourselves a beauty. Cheese.